So my name is Siddharth Paul, and I was doing uh, the Master of Science in International Mathematics. Uh, so I'm from Zambia, Southern Africa, and I started in 21 and graduated in December 2022. I was really into finance. My dad's an accountant, and uh, I was really interested in the program because a lot of my friends went there and really loved the programs. And I just love the area around it, the downtown University of Tampa. So yeah, the programs are great. The professors are great. And I actually knew my professors beforehand because they were on the video logs in the university homepage. Definitely it makes my expectations that probably beyond that. Uh, the previous university I was at was much smaller and definitely I was, uh, you know, pushed beyond the edge and I had to go uh, quite rough nights, uh, but definitely love that. You know, we definitely won that push. So definitely help. I used to live by uh, the USF area and used to drive to downtown to the campus like almost every day. It was like about 30 minute drive. So that was very interesting. Um, I used to work in the financial aid office, which was actually useful. So it helped out, you know, pay bills, of course. Um, but in general, uh, I was pretty decent. Like I like the people there were very friendly, uh, like the campus. Um, it's very like, there's a lot of things to do. Um, the food was great. And overall, being a student over there was actually nice. I loved it. The food was great because, like, in my previous college, we didn't have, like, you know, Chick-fil-A, we didn't have Einstein bagels, we didn't have all of that. So that was something definitely very useful. And right opposite the college, uh, there's a place called Buddies and also Oxford Exchange. So those places are amazing. There were quite a few of them were portfolio managements where I had to, you know, um, watch like a, quite a few of stocks, especially like, you know, Tesla or Inda, which are like uh, great stocks that you could invest in. I had to carry it for six months. And then at the end of the, the semester, I'd have to actually, you know, present it to a lot of the students, explain why I was investing in the stocks. And it was a great, in, like, you know, experience overall because you have to do so many different things. I write up uh, the presentation and then talking to people. There's like over 20 students over there. So very, uh, you know, like practical situation. I didn't actually do it myself, but definitely right now I'm getting into it and I'll definitely be using the same ideology, right? You have to do like a bit of like, uh, what's this, like diversify your portfolio. So like you want to invest a lot of like in the local stocks, a bit of foreign or a bit of tech, uh, you know, different kind of stuff like that. So like typically people use like Vanguard or Fidelity to do it. But a lot of times, like if you started my program, you definitely know it yourself. Like, so you definitely want to get in the game yourself. So very interesting topic for that matter. There was the derivatives and fixed markets. Um, that was incredibly difficult for us, probably the most difficult course that I had in my major. Um, but the professor was great and he was an actually investment banker in his day. So he taught us a lot about how the markets work, what to watch out for, and how the, a lot of like math that goes into it. So that's what I, you'd never learn this, like, you know, on any other like programs that you definitely have. So I love that course, even if it pushed me to the edge and you're probably pulling out your hair, but definitely love that course. A lot of the times, I guess maybe, um, you know, it'll be difficult, you know, like to get into some of the programs because maybe you don't have much experience, like uh, project management, probably you don't have much experience. Like I was doing mostly internships. They don't want to teach you about project management over there. So definitely it would be useful to have maybe a tutorship for those kind of specific uh, courses. A lot of the courses didn't have that. So you'd have to do it on your own, uh, do research, or just get help from your friends who could help you if they can. Um, but I mean, most of the time you do get help, but sometimes you just don't. Like the best thing to do is like, interest the students, like they always help each other out differently, I feel. Um, I guess like um, for undergrads, it's easier to make friends in grad school. It's a bit harder because you're more focused on doing your work, honestly. So definitely if that could be help, I would definitely say so. So I'm doing about uh, accounting uh, at this co company called Sergi Shop. 
and they sell prescription medical devices and it's very uh you know very useful and important because you know with so covid right especially uh, a lot of like hospitals were you know dread you know the push to the limit over there and these devices were actually very helpful for them so we sell it at a you know a discounted rates and people are able to actually purchase them so this is not like something that you can buy over the counter this is actually prescription so we talk to a lot of hospitals like surgical centers um so yeah it's definitely helpful and i have to you know every day at follow so many invoices you know excel is just my you know my go to thing it's all the time so like 24/7 i'm just looking at screens and that's why i have my glasses so definitely like i said in excel you using it every day so i have to do data analysis like see how much we're performing financial wise like financial statements like from the previous year or even just the last week itself how much have we gained how much can we gain and what's our budget right so for accounts payable even accounts receivable so it's from there itself like just excel or even data analysis that's what i learned it's definitely useful so there was a career center and there were actually two people i don't quite remember the names but they were actually very useful to me and they would reply very uh, quite quick actually and they'll be very helpful about tips on the resume and who to contact like um if you're using handshake or linkedin definitely they'll be helpful so even like getting into this company that was actually why I was able to get into it because I was getting some help from the career center definitely so what was happening is that i give my resume they take a look at it and they say like which expenses would definitely not be um tailored for that job the application that i'm doing so like this specific job i would remove the any of them that were marketing and specifically put in any um investment banking or finance roles that i've done in the past like internships so they'll tell me to remove one of these and then put in a few key terms that will be useful like excel or trying to do any data analytics like tool sets that we used like solver which i did in my classes actually and then also adding projects that you did so in the first uh, semester i did a uh, data analysis class which actually very helpful for the excel so that's what we did like adding projects uh, tailoring the resume and then specific companies that would actually be very uh, useful for me so that's why like i had a lot of my internships were in healthcare that's actually why i was very beneficial to get into this company actually my dad was an accountant in a healthcare company a pharmaceutical company to be exact so that was actually my first internship and from there I actually realized that i want to really get into healthcare and it's a booming industry right it's always booming there's always people in need so i definitely want to be become a part of the bigger picture so definitely this company is getting me there and i'm getting all the experience like it's not just accounting i'm doing with a lot of different things like maybe marketing or even just like customer service it does you know go roll hand over there but i also assist like you know the owners or even like the board members definitely help them out with different things definitely uh for interest students definitely i'd say don't just go for like you know financial like success you definitely want to go for people who you want to be or to and try to get the most experience the most beneficial uh impact for you because it's from experience that builds your career builds your portfolio so you want to be focused on the people who will be teaching you those experiences rather than just money so definitely we'll look into that and definitely you know look out for people who can actually help you like i would definitely help out another international student if i can and i will definitely